In the world's great parade of idiosyncrasies, few things tantalize our collective imagination more than secret societies. Picture this. Shadowy figures, candle-lit chambers, cloaks, lots of cloaks, and hush-hush plots about world domination. Let's stroll down the cobbled paths of history, back to the 18th century, and unearth the story of the real Illuminati. Buckle up, it's quite the yarn. 1776. A year, I might add, when more than just America was getting revolutionary. Over in a rather picturesque corner of Bavaria, Germany, a young professor named Adam Weishaupt decided to stir the pot. He founded the Illuminati, an enlightened secret society. Their goal? Well, it was less control all the banks and celebrities and more advocate reason and secularism. Now, as with any society that insists on being secretive, the Illuminati ran into problems. The Bavarian government, which didn't share their enthusiasm for clandestine brunch meetings, disbanded them quicker than you could say conspiracy. By 1785, just nine short years after its inception, the real Illuminati had vanished. Well, almost. You see, the thing about secret societies, even defunct ones, is that they're a bit like that stain on your favorite shirt, impossible to forget and the source of endless speculation. Before long, whispers of the Illuminati's enduring influence began to echo through drawing rooms and taverns. Their short-lived Bavarian escapade had transformed in the collective imagination into a vast, world-spanning web of puppeteers. Writers of the day, never ones to resist a good tale, penned tales of Illuminati infiltration in various revolutions and world events. And so the historical Illuminati, a group of Enlightenment enthusiasts, became the catch-all explanation for anything remotely mysterious or untoward. Lost a sock in the laundry? Illuminati. A cat stared at you funny? Definitely Illuminati. And as centuries rolled on, this narrative snowballed, picking up fragments from other conspiracy tales, New World Orders, lizard overlords and whatnot. What emerged was an all-encompassing behemoth of a theory, so expansive that it would give any reputable history book an inferiority complex. So, dear theorist, as we pull back the curtain on the world's most famous secret society, remember, sometimes truth really is stranger, and often more charming, than fiction. As for the modern Illuminati, if they truly are orchestrating world events from the shadows, let's hope they at least have a decent retirement plan. But for now, hold on to your hats, for the rabbit hole only goes deeper from here. The New World Order. Rise of a Modern Myth. Now, if there's a time that almost begs for a conspiracy theory or two, it's the Cold War. Picture it. A world divided in two. Whispers of nuclear showdowns, clandestine operations, spy thrillers at every bookshop. There's intrigue, suspense, and if we're honest, a wardrobe choice heavily reliant on trench coats. Into this atmosphere of tangible tension came whispers of a new world order. The term new world order isn't some clever code for an underground club where elites discuss their weekend golf while plotting world domination. Nope. Historically, it was a hopeful term, a world where nations cooperate, where wars cease, and where people might just be a tad nicer to one another. Sounds delightful, right? But, as is often the case, when things are a tad too quiet on the conspiracy front, the term took on a life of its own. 
By the early 1990s, and with all the subtlety of a sledgehammer, the phrase found itself under a glaring spotlight, thanks to none other than President George H. W. Bush. Now, George, probably thinking he was invoking a sense of global unity after the Cold War, mentioned the New World Order in a few speeches. But to those with an ear finely tuned for conspiratorial undertones, this was less kumbaya and more aha. I knew they were up to something. As with many a good story, over time, certain plots just seem destined to merge. Like peanut butter and jelly or fish and chips, the Illuminati and the New World Order seem to find each other giving the public's imagination a veritable smorgasbord of global puppetry. How did this happen, you ask? Well, think about it. Here's the Illuminati, an age-old society that's supposedly about controlling events from the shadows, and then there's the New World Order, with murmurs of a global governing elite. Mix in a healthy dose of mistrust, a sprinkle of international intrigue, and perhaps a bit of late-night internet rabbit hole diving, and voila! A perfectly blended conspiracy theory smoothie. It's curious, isn't it? Two separate historical threads, both fairly benign in their origins, now forever entwined in a dance of dark machinations. Theories began to spin out. Global currencies, microchipped populations, and for some reason, celebrities flashing Illuminati symbols. It's almost as if the world needed a secret club of big baddies to blame for its woes. Easier than facing the occasionally mundane reality, I suppose. And so the legends grow. It's a tantalizing thought. Behind every major event, a council of shadowy figures pulls the strings. But for now, while the lines between myth and fact blur in this ever-entertaining narrative, one can't help but wonder. Do members of the real Illuminati get exasperated by these tales? Do they ever shout, all we wanted was a bit of enlightenment, as they scroll the internet. One of life's delightful mysteries, I'd wager. Symbols, celebrities, and pop culture. Imagine for a moment that you're a member of the world's most secret society, cunningly pulling strings behind the scenes of global events. What's the first thing you'd do? Hide symbols of your organization on the dollar bill? Of course. And when you're feeling extra sneaky, throw in a few cryptic signs in a pop star's latest music video. Why? Oh, just for the thrill of it. From the US $1 bill, with its pyramid and all-seeing eye, to certain global brands with logos that look suspiciously triangular, you know who you are. Many believe the Illuminati have been extraordinarily busy with a clandestine game of Where's Waldo? But this isn't just any version. It's Where's the Illuminati symbol? A fun pastime for conspiracy enthusiasts and perhaps an international drinking game. Take a sip every time you spot a pyramid in a music video, but always drink responsibly and architecture. Don't get me started. Why just have buildings for shelter when you can have them cryptically communicate your plan for world domination? From street layouts in major cities supposedly forming pentagrams to landmarks that appear eerily obelisk-like. One would think the Illuminati's true passion isn't world domination, but in fact, urban planning. Enter stage left, the world of glittering gowns, red carpets, and mysterious hand gestures. Yes, Hollywood. If the Illuminati are plotting global domination, they're allegedly doing it with style, grace, and impeccable choreography. The Queen Bee herself, Beyonce, 
Jay-Z and even the adorable country-turned pop sensation Taylor Swift have been roped into these Illuminati narratives. But why? Because apparently, nothing says Illuminati confirmed like a chart-topping album. You see, the theory goes something like this. If you're a celebrity at the top of your game, it couldn't possibly be due to talent, hard work, or a smidge of good luck. No siree. It's clearly because you've struck a deal with a secret society and now use your platform to spread subliminal messages. Every dance move, every fashion choice, every ambiguous hand gesture, all apparently part of a grand tapestry of coded communication. As we pull back the curtain of pop culture, we find a world where symbols are rife and nothing is as it seems. Every pixel and every note scrutinized for deeper meaning. And the Illuminati, rather than being mildly exasperated by these persistent tales, are now imagined lounging in secret lairs, or perhaps Hollywood mansions, chuckling at our incessant search for signs. In the end, it's quite the show. Whether the Illuminati are directing it or merely enjoying front row seats alongside the rest of us, it's hard to say. But one thing's for sure, there's never a dull moment in this saga of symbols, celebrities, and the endless dance of shadows and spotlights. Global domination or global delusion. Let me set the scene for you. A smoky room, high back leather chairs, an oak table with the world map engraved upon it, and a group of elite folks laughing maniacally as they decide the fate of the globe. Sounds like a page from an Ian Fleming novel, doesn't it? But for many, this clandestine gathering embodies the dread and mystique of groups like the Illuminati, hell bent on establishing a new world order. Still, before we begin scrawling cryptic symbols on our conspiracy boards, let's pull up our research trousers and dive deep. The United Nations, or UN, conceived in the aftermath of World War II, this noble institution's goal was to prevent humans from committing mass, organized silliness again, read warfare, but some claim it's the very nerve center of the new world order. In reality, the UN often resembles a large classroom where countries, instead of children, raise their hands, or placards, eager to be heard. Global domination? More like global deliberation, and a lot of it. The World Bank. Now, here's a group that sounds ominous. A bank for the world. Cue the dramatic music. Yet rather than funding Dr. Evil's next plot, its primary goal is to reduce poverty, support development, and on occasion, scratch its collective head wondering how to handle global financial meltdowns. Not quite the stuff of cloak and dagger intrigue, unless you count economic debates as edge of your seat action the Bilderberg Group, a mix between a secret club and an annual tea party for the rich and influential. Yes, they meet. Yes, it's private. But the most scandalous thing they might be doing is over-creaming their coffee. When it comes to our beloved Illuminati and their alleged world domination aspirations, history gives us a bit of a wink the original Bavarian Illuminati, a group that sounds more like a beer hall quartet than puppet masters, had objectives like opposing religious influence on public life and preventing abuses of state power. Noble, right? Yet, from these modest roots sprouted wild tales of an organization shadowboxing with destiny. In an age of information, misinformation spreads like butter on hot toast. We've got centuries-old societies cast in dastardly roles. Innocent pop stars accused of secret handshakes when they might just be waving. 
and real global organizations whose most insidious act might be forgetting to reply all on a group email. Debunking myths surrounding the Illuminati and the New World Order requires the simple act of looking beyond the haze of suspicion. It's like realizing the monster under your bed was just a pile of laundry all along. A touch disappointing, but also a relief. In summary, while the idea of a clandestine group running the show from behind thick velvet curtains is tantalizing, the reality is far more pedestrian. It's committees, conferences, and a lot of paperwork. But if you ever want to spruce up a dinner party, just lean in and whisper, Did you know about the Illuminati? The ensuing conversation filled with half-truths and chuckles will be worth its weight in gold, or at least in global domination points. The enduring appeal of the shadows. You know, humans are fascinating creatures. Given a choice between a plain vanilla truth and a wild technicolor theory of hidden puppeteers and clandestine cabals, we'll often opt for the latter. It's like being offered a simple sandwich or a five-course meal at a restaurant rumored to be run by, well, the Illuminati. How can one resist? Humans, bless our imaginative hearts have always been pattern seekers. When our ancient ancestors saw shapes in the stars, they didn't think, oh, that looks a bit like my Uncle Terry. No, they saw mighty hunters, ferocious beasts, and gods in chariots. Similarly, when faced with vast, complicated global events today, it's almost comforting to imagine a singular, albeit shadowy, hand guiding it all. It makes the unpredictable seem, well, slightly more predictable. But there's more to it. Conspiracy theories, especially the grand ones, offer a paradoxical comfort. If something's going wrong, it's not due to a series of random events or complex socio-political factors. It's because a clandestine group willed it. In an odd way, believing in an omnipotent Illuminati can be less scary than accepting the chaotic randomness of life. Moreover, joining the In The Know Club offers a sense of superiority. There's an undeniable charm in believing that while others live in ignorance, you, dear theorist, have peeked behind the curtain. Every age has its myths, and ours, it seems, has the Illuminati and the New World Order playing the same role as Loki or Hermes in tales of yore, mischievous, elusive, and ever so influential. Books with titles that sound like they were conceived in a dark, candlelit basement fly off the shelves. Movies with secret societies Hidden chambers and cryptic symbols rake in the big bucks at the box office. Ever heard a song lyric or seen a music video and thought, ah, classic Illuminati? Pop stars from Madonna to Jay-Z have been accused of membership, which, if true, would make Illuminati parties the hottest ticket in town. The cultural grip of these conspiracy narratives is undeniable. They've become our modern legends, and let's face it, it's just more fun to watch a film where the hero decodes ancient prophecies and battles a secret society than one where they attend a series of UN meetings. In wrapping up our jaunt through shadowy corridors and secretive soirees, it's evident that while the historical Illuminati hung up its boots long ago, its spirit, misunderstood, exaggerated and mythologized lives on. And while the world may not be run by a clandestine elite, unless cats are plotting world domination, in which case we're all doomed, the tales of the Illuminati and the New World Order remind us of humanity's enduring love for mystery, drama and the thrill of the unknown. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a secret handshake to practice. 
If you enjoyed this conspiracy theory deep dive, you can buy my book Conspiracies on Amazon and order the full audiobook on Audible, where I delve even deeper into the labyrinth of modern myths, guiding you through a mesmerizing journey of the most tantalizing conspiracy theories of our age. Links in the description below.